Thank you. This morning we are under a weather alert again for poor air quality. Dolphin 10 meteorologist Maddie Kirker is tracking how long it's sticking with us. Maddie. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, you can kind of see that haze once again this morning here with our 10 TV tower cam. Not the prettiest of mornings, and normally this time in the morning we'd have a gorgeous sunrise happening, especially if it wasn't for the smoke. But the smoke is going to stay with us again today. 48 degrees, so feeling kind of on the chilly side as you're stepping outside. Uh, we Winds are calm this morning, so it is a nice and quiet start. I say that, but it is always the things that you can't see that can kind of get to you through the day, right? Sometimes it's the allergies and other times it's wildfire smoke. We haven't had this poor of air quality since 2010, so it's been quite some time since Central Ohio has seen something like this. But again today, we do have an air quality alert until 9 p.m. Just like yesterday, this is going to be for our unhealthy for some category. So right in the middle, it's people with heart or lung disease, the elderly or children, and then that means you should just limit your time outdoors, especially during the peak heating of the day and when it's going to be the warmest. That's typically when the weather mixes itself together, allergies aren't looking good, and so we do have to deal with more of that uh, resistance in our uh, atmosphere. Now, Here's the science behind what's even happening. You know, we had a cold front move through yesterday. I was so excited because I was hopeful the cold front could help us out. But it's the upper level winds that are going to be steering us with the wildfire smoke to the north, well off to the north in Canada, that keep the wildfire smoky skies out there, not only for today, but it looks like it'll stick around for tomorrow. So as this area of low pressure begins to pull away from us, we'll finally see a more of a northwesterly breeze which should give us uh, some better air quality as we head towards the upcoming weekend. Taking a look at your allergy index, not looking good for our allergy sufferers. I know this has a lot to do with the air quality as well. We've got high tree pollen and high grass pollen for the day today, so make sure you're taking that allergy medicine. If you're wondering to yourself, how are the friends out there across the north doing? Maybe up towards Buffalo, New York. They're actually under the unhealthy category and very unhealthy through central New York today. So we're not on the worst end of this for the air quality, but uh, we're certainly not uh, going to be the best either. Today's forecast will feature some hazy sunshine to start. By the afternoon, we'll have a few friendly cumulus clouds develop, and then I think we'll see some extra clouds later on today as temperatures will only be around the mid 70 mark. You can see the next couple of days we're in the mid to upper 70s, which in a perfect world, if we didn't have the haze, we would have a gorgeous sunny sky. It would be beautiful, but but again, take that alert seriously, especially if you've got some breathing issues. Definitely wouldn't be outside during the afternoon today. Try to get out there early this morning to do your grocery shopping or go out later in the day. That'll be healthier for you. Then as we head into the weekend, we're tracking some rain, some much needed rain Sunday heading into Monday. Tracy.